Okay, so I might be buying some United Airlines shares at $30 per share or more specifically $30.62. Well, that's because today is probably the only red day that's going to be happening anytime soon. And it's a perfect time to buy this small little dip. You can see here United Airlines was doing pretty bad. At the low of $22, it actually rebounded to $30, which is honestly pretty impressive. If you check out the one year graph, the five year graph, you can see United Airlines has always been slowly going up. And Buffett is actually the second biggest shareholder of United. You can see here right now it's $30 pre-coronavirus price tag, which is on my birthday, was $89.70. It was honestly on the track of going to $90, $95, and maybe even $100, hitting a brand new record of a three-digit number. If you look at United Airlines earnings, you can see here every single quarter they make money, especially quarter two and quarter three. That's around the summertime and the fall, and that's when a lot of people go on vacations. And this is why they make more money in the summertime from the flights. But right now, you can see the expected earnings for April 30th is negative $2.95 per share. That's absolutely terrible. And by the way, the actual is going to be pretty bad as well. It's going to be around be somewhere in this region and United is not going to make money this quarter. Next quarter is quarter two, quarter three, which is supposed to be the best quarters are going to be pretty bad as well with a lot of vacation hotspots being closed down and quarantine rules are still really happening around the world in Italy and the rest of Europe, China, South Korea, you name it. So right now, United is doing pretty bad, but United is expecting to be receiving a $5 billion in government payroll support. Another thing is they're also part of Trump's $2 trillion stimulus bill, which means that if they go under, the government will bail them out, which is pretty good. And the crazy thing about United is, if you guys don't know, just like all the other airlines, they do some intensive stock buybacks. And the whole reason why they don't have a lot of money is they use all the available cash and buying their own shares. And this is why it goes up and up. Now, this is a pretty bad thing when you do it and then you got this economic crisis but it's pretty good in a regular bull rally because your stock will go higher and higher so if i get united airlines at 100 shares for three thousand dollars when it returns to the original price tag i should be looking at around nine thousand or maybe even ten thousand dollars and when the share price is a hundred dollars like these options will be way more expensive if you check out may 8th you will see the current price of united for cover calls is around a hundred dollars but if it's you know, if the share price is uh, is ninety dollars, ninety five dollars, or even a hundred dollars, it's going to be way more than a hundred dollars for the covered call. It's going to be like two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars for covered calls. Can you imagine making three hundred dollars every single week? That's twelve hundred dollars a month, and you get to keep the underlying stock. And the underlying stock does go up a bit. And hopefully, in the future, they'll give you some dividends, which is going to be pretty chill. So airplanes, they're not going away. Everyone travels, and that's about it. I honestly am thinking about getting 100 shares of United Airlines, perhaps on Webull, and just holding it for the long term. Thanks for watching, and comment below.